post game as NGIT they fall to UMass Lowell by a score of 53 to 47. And with this being another post game report, we're joined by the head coach Mike Lane and coach. You know, after this game today, once again, another hard fought, fought battle by your squad, but coming up a little bit short. I mean, I know moral victories aren't so much the name of the game, but how did you feel after your squad battled so well? Yeah, absolutely proud of the effort again and the battle. We, we got into some kind of game stuff that we haven't to. We went really small. Um, one point, having five guards on the floor, that's not exactly something we practiced a whole lot, but it's what the game demanded today. And so I thought our girls did a really good job of playing that way. Uh, but that, I think, is our roster is built like that because we're versatile. And so there's going to be some days where we might have three posts on the floor um, instead of two. And so I was, I was happy that we went that way. Um, I thought it changed the game a little bit because it was getting away from us, but uh, it kept us in the game a little bit. But we got to uh, get back to ourselves tomorrow at practice. Got to address, uh, first thing, 21 turnovers. I know this is the result of two days in a row where UMass Lowell really forced your team to turn over the ball quite a bit. How do you correct that going into the, your next matchup? Yeah, and, and certainly we don't want that to be something that the scout is out. Okay, we're going to go press. And I didn't think, you know, I thought that was a nice job by UMass Lowell. They showed a little bit more of a zone press. Uh, like I said, I think that rattled our kids a little bit, not so much into the turnovers, uh, but I think it just kept us out of our flow uh, where we didn't recognize that it was a zone press back to a zone or sometimes it was man, it was just make miss. But again, those are some things that maybe our young kids weren't used to seeing. Um, so I think it's more the poise after the press. Um, you know, I, I didn't think the press bothered us, but then it's like getting into our offense. Uh, and I thought that took too long. Uh, and then now the clock's going on and you're frantic. You know, so there's a, a host of things there that we have to fix. Uh, so we will get back to that tomorrow. And you know what's amazing, too, after these two days, Coach? Um, your team had a lot of looks. And I know there's days where shots just don't fall. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to see it in back-to-back -back games, though, I'm sure is very frustrating for you and the rest of the coaches. But how do you – what's the message to your team and how do they get those shots to the falls? As simply as just getting into the gym and just – continue to take shots and continue to get those reps in yeah in some ways it is in some <laughs> way you got to earn your confidence yeah. you know so if it's a shot that you're not sure of why are you not sure of it right uh, are you not getting in the gym enough to really feel like that's the shot that you have and uh there was one time out i know i called we had two looks that two really good shooters for us passed up and in the, in that point of the game where we're small we're driving kick and we're passing up the shot that we're trying to generate um, those are the shots that we got to be hunting and ready to fire. And again, I think you earn that by yourself in the gym, on the gun, or with your coach or with your teammate uh, to gain that confidence. All right, we got some of the tough things out of the way. Let's talk about some things that were really positive. Two of your freshmen, Lizzie Litwinko and Grace Plummer today. Mm -hmm. Lizzie, I'm going to tell you this right now, she seems like she's a budding star. I know it seems like at some point teams are going to continue to harp in on her. And Grace, you see what she can be outside in the perimeter in her three-point shooting. Um, what are you seeing from these two now as they continue to get more reps in here in their first season? Yeah, well, first with Grace, really proud of her. Like, she didn't see the ball go in yesterday. And so that's got to be the shooter's mentality of, like, it doesn't matter the next shot's going in. Um, and she has that, and she is somebody that has earned that trust in her shot. She's a hard worker. She's in the gym. She's shooting. She can trust it. So really good for her to see those four go down today. I thought she had really good looks yesterday mm -hmm. and even some mid-range looks that were great. Uh, so I thought that was really big for her. And Lizzie... You know, it's on-the-job training as a point guard to run a program. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. And I'm probably, I mean, she probably hopefully does not have nightmares of me in her ear uh, because I am hard on her and really hard on her. And today I thought there were some things that I really had to ride on and understand what they were doing and what, what we should have been doing against it. But you're absolutely right. She doesn't, like, she's not rattled by that. and She wants that coaching. Her standards are really high, and she just battles. She just fights, and that's what we're seeing in these games. You know, this is what this is how we're playing. We're battling, and I think that comes from kids like Lizzie, kids like Ellen, kids like Kenna. You know, like those are like like you got to fight, and and so I, I think we're feeding off of that attitude, which has been great. I'll tell you, Lily Anderson, we're seeing how aggressive she could be around the glass, mm -hmm. um, able to get as many rebounds as she's had here the past couple of days. Um, she's starting to get some looks offensively. Um, how does she gain that confidence in trying to get a couple shots her way? Well, as much as we like to gain confidence with reps in practice or by yourself, there's nothing like a game rep. And so if she can see the ball go through the hoop, you know, during a game, like that's different, you know, and it's a different intensity. It's a different defense. It's somebody you don't know. 
Uh, so I think you know it's it's good for her. It's just feel like these are all kids who have scored before. Shouldn't be something that's new <laughs> to them, uh, but it is different at this level. And so sometimes they just got to see, just like Grace. Grace had to see the ball go yep. through today, and I think that was good for her. Um, and that's what we got to see out of our post players a little bit more. They got they got to have that confidence that they can shoot and score and really affect the game. Like I thought Kiana had some really strong plays today that just didn't end with the result that we wanted. Yep. And some of that's just that's the youth that you don't want to depend on. But it's like, oh, man, that's such a good play. It just didn't go, you know, it just didn't make it. Um, and so we're, we're really close to that. But our post unit is really inexperienced. Yeah. And so they got to continue to get in the gym, work on it. And it's a different, you know, they, it's just different than high school. Post play is different at this level. Um, so I'm really proud of those guys. They got to continue to work. Meaty's always in the gym. Mm -hmm. um, so they just got to see some game reps go for them. And I think that unit will be fine. I know fans have enjoyed uh, seeing a lot of home basketball here uh, with your program, but I'm sure it's a little of uh, a nice break to get on the road. I know it's a tough opponent ahead with Maine, who was who was the preseason top pick here in the America East. Um, lots to work on this week, but uh, obviously someone's got to take them down. What does it take to get it done? Well, uh, you know, what I just said in the locker room, like we turned the ball over, we didn't shoot well, and we got out-rebounded. Don't do those three things uh, and, <laughs> and give yourself a chance. Now, we got to work on why those things are happening, but that's a tough formula, mm -hmm. and that's not our formula. Our formula is to be plus eight on the boards, and we weren't near that today. And uh, we did force 21 turnovers, so I thought that was yep. good. There were some good things defensively, but we got to shore up our defense. we got to shore up our rebounding. we just got to get more efficient offensively. And once they start trusting this stuff, we're really close. I, I, I feel that. I don't know when it's going to break through. You know, we hope sooner yeah, rather than later, right. but it's really close, and it's going to be really tough to do against Maine. Uh, this is the top program in the America East. Uh, we got to travel there. We got two games, but I, I agree with you. Like, let's get on the bus. Let's hunker down. Let's be together, um, and let's see if we can pull this thing off. Well, I know fans are going to be excited to see your t team play on the road. Um, we're excited. Uh, hopefully, get a couple wins, and then Albany when you come back into town. But coach, thanks as always for stopping by. Best of luck. Thanks, Mike. It'll be a long trip, but we got to make it worth it. Absolutely. So, folks, that's head coach Mike Lane.